What's up everyone? This is all Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we explored around Hateno a little bit more, got a few more, well, did a couple of the shrine quests, made a little bit more progress in some regular quests as well, and made our way to this shrine right here. In this episode, we're gonna start out by doing the shrine that we just opened up. Uh, lots of spike balls. Okay. Definitely gonna want to use Magnesis here. And it may be better if I could stop those gears. Let me find some way to avoid the spike balls. Okay. So the best way to go would be to start right about here. Again, this is very reminiscent of Va uh, Ruta. Okay. So I can stand on here. And once that stabilizes, I'll be able to grab that treasure chest. That is way too bright, though. Okay. Oh, and there's another treasure chest right here. It should be good. Damn it, I missed! Uh, well, shoot. Unfortunately... Wait, there are stairs there? Why are there stairs? Okay... Uh, the spike ball. Spike ball actually moves away. Well, that's gonna be a problem in the future. Okay. So, kind of wait until I get up to a good elevation. And I can claim the first chest, which has an opal. Okay. So, I think rather than trying to judge timing on the spinning gear, I think this is probably a better vantage point to jump to our main chest. For it and go! Perfect! Just as a soldier spear. Ah, jeez. Well, I do have something I can drop. Actually, have I? No, yeah, I have taken a picture. I was gonna say, have I taken a picture of a Moblin Club? And it's like, yeah, that's how I found the stupid thing in the first place. Okay. So get up over here. Now, the big question is. Oh, actually, this can work. Whoo! Okay. That works. Then we can go over here. Here, which does what exactly? Ow! Oh, okay, we have to go up that way. So I went the wrong way. Oh well. Uh, will that suffice? Yeah, that looks like a a flight of stairs. That'll do. Perfect. And with that, we have made it to the top! Cool, 
Oh, so that's another spirit orb. Okay, well, thankfully that didn't take too long. Okay, so from here, there's not really a whole lot left for us to do. Um, so I guess the best thing to do would be to do what I said I'd do. We'll try to retrace our steps from the woodland tower over to the stable. And see if we can't try to find any shrines in the meantime. Now, realistically speaking, I only need one more spirit orb. And then we're good to go to actually take on Bomb Meadow. Uh, but... I'm gonna see how much... Much I can get done with, well, all the time that we have for this episode. Because again, I don't really want to go partway into Vom Meadow. Although, if we've run out of things to do, I might consider doing that. Nah, but instead, we'll just see what all we can do taking the route that we were on last time. But this time... We have our Shrine Indicator on. So we'll be able to detect any sort of shrines that are nearby. Of course, we are kind of going through similar... Um... Similar terrain. I'm gonna try to be a little bit farther away. Uh, not too far away, because I don't want to... Get into a fight with a bunch of Black Book Hoblins. But, enough away. So that way, it doesn't... Get out of here. Yeah, that's right. You better run. Okay. So, let's go ahead and maybe try to get... Are they going after me, or... No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, good. Again, we'd rather not have to face Black Book Hoblins on horseback when I am without my horse. Oh, hello. Um. No! Okay. And now they're frozen. So, oh, okay. In which case, how about the thunder spear? Well, that worked. Yeah, I mean, I may as well use the blizzard rod while I have it. Again, I don't like using rods, but if I have it, I may as well use it. No sense in holding on to it if I'm not going to use it. Darn it. Okay, there's a sentry out over that way, but it's... I want to say it's basically just patrolling around Hyrule Castle. Also, I'm seeing a whole lot of nothing when it comes to these shrines. Maybe there weren't any that were out in this general vicinity. And there are more wolves. Yep. That didn't quite work. Yep. Got him! I was about to say, where's my other one? And then it just kind of spawned in. Okay. So, I'm seeing a heck of a lot of nothing over here. Hmm, maybe I should have tried around this area. Not sure why that stamp is still there. Did I forget to take that off? I might have. I mean, the shrine sensor is usually pretty good when giving me a pretty big area. If I'm nearby a shrine. Huh. Something following me? 
No, but I also realized I probably should have that on. If I'm not gonna be running into any shrines, oh shoot. It's a thunderstorm. Actually, am I good with my current setup? Nope. I didn't think so. Uh, let's go ahead and put up my guardian shield. And... Yikes. Most things I have are metallic. Blizzard rod then. Wait, what? Blizzard rod is metallic? Oh no, my bow was. Yeah! Okay. So yeah, lightning striking the ground isn't exactly a great thing to be in. But I'm also not seeing any shrines in the nearby vicinity. What gives? So there's no shrines nearby. Because I've been to this area before, I think. It seems vaguely familiar at the very least. Oh, well, there's a Henox over there. Sleeping in the middle of a thunderstorm. I do have... Yeah, the Sheikah sensor has the shrines activated. Okay, I'd rather not go into too far into mysterious territory. Because this is supposed to be kind of just a way to find something that... Oh, jeez. Get him! Okay. Uh, do I have anything that is... There we go. Just do that real quick. No, 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 no! Okay. I was hoping that there would be Bokoblin Guts. It might be it up here. Hey, there it is. Oh, shoot. It's raining. That's right. Thunderstorms usually accompanied by rain. Hey. I mean, that's what I really wanted was Bill Coblin Guts. Because that's the, the rare stuff. Okay. The thunderstorm seems like it's passing. Uh... And if I go across that way, I'm basically going into Hyrule Castle. Which again, kinda want to avoid at this point in time. But no shrines whatsoever. Hmm. Well, let's be daring. heck is that? Okay, that was freaky. Seeing thunder from above like, or lightning from above like that. Okay. Gotta be real careful here because there are a ton of different... Uh, guardians and guardian like creatures like the sentries that make things very complicated. 
I can get out of here if things start to get a bit too rough. There's a boat if I wanted to. Oh, hey, there's a Korok nearby. But where? The tree, maybe? Could be in one of these trees. May as well get something out of it. Nope. Some eggs, though. Huh. It's close by over here? Where? Well, there's a guardian walking around, and that's something I very much would like to avoid. Oh, hey, a treasure chest. Not quite what I was after. But another knight's bow. Do I have anything worth getting rid of? Not really, and I have four knight's bows already. Hmm. So where's the Korok then? Doesn't seem like it's over on this side. I imagine it's like a rock or something. Gotta be careful with that guardian though. Castle Town Prison. Still says I'm nearby. Huh. Oh, it's down there. Shoot, right by the Guardian? Oh, jeez. How the heck am I gonna get down there? Too late. I think it lost track of me. I don't think it can ba get back here. Oh, actually, that's interesting. The map actually shows me. It actually shows me the Guardian. I didn't realize that. Yeah. And it sees me again. Yeah, it thinks it sees me. Because it does. Yikes. I am not sure I'm able to get this without taking down that guardian. Because it's right in the freaking center of it. And that guardian's going to be sentry. What exactly do I need here? Rusty shields? Okay, I imagine there would be rusty shields somewhere near- oh shoot. Thankfully there's a bunch of trees in the way. Bunch of trees and debris! Okay. So this is gonna suck. Rusty broadsword, rusty shield, okay. Drop that, grab that. All this for a freaking Korok.
Okay. Oh my gosh. That is actually kind of amazing. Darn it, why does it go behind? Drop. There! I got the Korok! Ooh! I'm so glad that worked. I'm so glad that worked. Oh boy. Well, let's go and grab my actual shield. Where'd it go? Did it despawn? Oh, what the hell? How did it despawn? Was it seriously that far away? Ugh. Well, maybe there's a shield in the chest. No, an ancient arrow. Cool. I really don't have enough of those. I'm gonna even get another shield. Um. Yeah, if I can just get as far away. There's another Korok? Oh, I see where it is. Okay, that's actually a lot easier. Moat bridge, thankfully. Infinitely easier. I kind of don't want to climb that. Being under the bridge at least gives me a bit more time. Be able to get up here. Okay. So. I'm not sure if there would be a shrine kind of in the nearby vicinity. I'm just kind of exploring around while making sure I stay as far away from that guardian as possible. If not, then I might need to jump on over to where these... Ooh. Shoot. At least I'm getting close to a shrine. Okay. Good. Good. This is good. This is very good. Getting further away. Okay. This direction... Somewhere. I think it's up here. Okay, so it looks like not this entire trip wasn't just in vain and for Korok seeds. Okay, there's also another Korok nearby. Tree? I'm thinking tree. No? Huh. I also don't see it. Huh. So it's inside this rock formation? Oh, well. There's my Korok. Hmm. So then where's the shrine? As long as I'm not under the watchful gaze of those guys, I should be fine. Another one? Jeez, how many Koroks are in this area? 
Ow. <laughs> Alright, then that didn't quite work as planned. There we go! Alright. There. Okay, so there's the Korok. Arrow. Maybe grab this. Ooh, an opal. Okay. Damn it. Can this thing please break? There we go. Ruby and an arrow. Okay. So where does this take me? Excuse me? Okay. Guess there's another Korok up there. Carrick Bridge. Okay, thankfully, this one doesn't seem to be too difficult of a challenge. As long as you kind of pace yourself. I'll give you plenty of time for this one. <laughs> Still have no idea where the shrine is. I'm getting all sorts of Koroks. So the shrine is... The shrine has to be in there. It has to be. I don't see any other way it could be. Uh oh. That'll do. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Can I maybe set this on fire? There we go. And then everything goes up in flames. That is a great thumbnail. <laughs> uh, I hope I get to use it. Anyway, I finally got to where our freaking shrine is. Crap. Okay, let's try that. There we go. Noya Niha. And lots of supplies too. Apples and arrows, couple acorns. Ooh, and what's this? Blackened crab. Nice. All right, before anything happens, activate the shrine, and then, well that works. I mean, at least it also gives me an opportunity to get some more arrows, which I have been very sorely lacking. Five rupees and an arrow. Nice. Okay, so let's see what this shrine is. Please let it not be a major test of strength. And it is... A minor test of strength. Okay, I can live with that. I can absolutely live with that because that is far easier to actually deal with. Go with that so that way I can see the HP and I actually don't have anything. Oh no, I do. As much defense as possible. Uh, we'll switch off to the soldier spear because that's my weakest weapon. And let's go.
Shouldn't be too bad. Um, ah. Wait for it. Perfect. Ow. Thankfully, minor test of strengths. You never quite get the timing right for that, but thankfully the spear has... Uh-oh. Perfect. All right. So that sort of works. Uh, let's switch on over to... You know, I've got two of... Actually, what this thing is used for... Come on. Wait for it. Now. There we go. And the items were just floating in midair. Cool. Ancient Battle Axe. Which apparently we've never actually seen the original one before. Cool. Another weapon added to the collection. Grab my stuff. And thank goodness we finally managed to get our fourth for this round. Spirit Orb. Alright, our other treasure is... A Night Shield! Perfect! A nice substitute for the shield that I lost. And we get ourselves our second Spirit Orb of the episode. <sighs> Finally, able to get out and actually get myself an upgrade. Hooray! Yeah, surprisingly, not really much of anything. Maybe there was more like northern, like in this northern section. Maybe, I don't know. Not that it really matters now. Got ourselves a lot of Koroks, so let's go ahead and head on over to the Korok Forest first before we get ourselves another heart container. So let's go ahead and see Hetsu real quick. Because I'm pretty sure I have enough for a... I hope I have enough for another weapon slot. <laughs> Shakaka! If you return my lost Korok sieves for me, I'll expand the size of your inventory. Yeah, unfortunately, I still can't quite get the high pitch or notes. Headsuits is gonna be real fun for the time being. Okay, 17, I can do that. The expan Yeah, I really can't do Hetsu's voice. Let the expansion begin! It sucks because I know what I'm doing, but I physically can't do it. So I guess I'm just not going to voice Hetsu for the time being. Okay, so shields. Just two? Sure. Get ourselves a sixth shield slot. Okay. And bows. Yeah, we can do another bow slot as well. As good as it knows, I keep finding more bows and shields. 
Okay. So I think we're good. Okay, so a few more item slots. And let's go ahead and head on over to the center area here. Because there's a goddess statue right here. I didn't forget. So let's get ourselves another heart container. And that's heart container number 12. Okay. So I still don't think that's enough in order to actually pull the Master Sword. But, I believe one more would be enough to claim the blade. And so, I believe now is about as time- There, let me try that again. Now is about as good as time as any to call it a day. So, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I think we've done enough exploration around Hyrule. And I think now we can go and face off against Va Meadow. Va Meadow is, I consider, another pretty easy one to do. So it shouldn't be all that bad to try to conquer it. But it is still a dungeon, and I'm not making the same mistake that I did with Varuta. So we'll start out at Vom Meadow, and we'll go from there. So until next time, everyone, take care.